This is a M71 Shearwood water pump, commonly fitted to marine diesel engines. The raw water pump pumps seawater for coolant through a cooler. This is the gear driven. And today we're going to go through an impeller change. Pretty straightforward. So on the outer housing, there's three bolts that hold it on. One, two, and there's one under, underneath. The size is a 7 16th spanner. So we just take these off. I have a washer on them, put them to one side. Last one. Normally this would be done on the engine, but this is a spare one, so I'm just gonna go through it. So it's the three bolts out. We'll take the front cover off. So now we've got the three bolts out, we can take this front cover off to reveal the impeller. So there we go. And the keyway has fallen out there as well, so we put that to one side. Inside we have the impeller. It's the impeller there, you can see the keyway, which, gets, which is what drives it from the shaft. And you've got the cam, which gives it the pumping action, as you can see with the vanes. Otherwise it's just a complete circle. So how this works is quite simple. Water comes in from this direction impeller is turning in this direction, clockwise. The water is drawn in, in between each of these veins, and as it comes round to the output side, there's this cam. As the veins get compressed, it forces the water out. And as they open up again, the water is drawn in, and around it goes again, and forced out that way. So that's the, that's the reason for that cam. Otherwise, the blades would be out in this position, and they would just spin nothing would happen. So we'll get the old impeller out now. Hopefully I'll just get it out. Without damaging the face. Quite a soft impeller, it's not too hard. Nearly there. There we go. That's that one out. Not much wrong with it, it looks quite new. the impeller out, see inside, Got the inlet, the outlet, there's that cam, it's a full length, and that's held in there with that screw, just holds it in position. That does wear out eventually, and you will lose your pump in action, and it's a simple case of just taking that out, removing the cam, putting a new one in, put the bolt back in. Looking at the the pump body, got the keyway, which engages into that groove there on the impeller, which drives the impeller, and that just goes into that slot there. Got the backing plate with an O-ring, and the underside got a gasket and seals inside. Quickly go over the face of this now with a razor blade. 
and just clean off any any residue. Same goes for this wear plate, which has a gasket stuck to it. Just simple as scraping this off. Just like that. And we can just go over it. Make sure it's fully cleaned. For reassembly, we've got the paper gasket which goes on first, sits there. We put the wear plate in to line the holes up. Then we can install the new impeller, which is here, the o ring, and we've got the keyway as well. So we've put the keyway back in now. And that sits in that slot. We've got the new impeller. And that keyway lines up that groove there. It's just a case of sliding that down over the top. And that is now the impeller locked into the shaft. So when the shaft or the engine, when the engine turns, it'll turn the gear, which turns this inside the pump housing. Now put the O-ring inside the face, the little groove, and that sits in there. And then it's a case of now putting this housing onto the pump body. So now for installation, bring the two parts together. And I always like to give it a little twist as I put it in, just to set the, the impeller veins. As you can see, that's now it come together. And that's it aligned. As you can see, I made two marks there earlier. So now I know that's aligned. Now we just put these bolts back in. So once all three bolts are in, it's just a case of tightening them up. And then that is the pump impeller serviced. Obviously normally this would be on the engine, but it's just a bit easier doing it off the engine. Not a hard job. There we go.